everyone, welcome to another studio vlog. So you've just seen my books getting themselves into order, ready for my Classics Collection launch, which is gonna be this week. All going well, if my bookmarks arrive on time, I'll be launching on Thursday. So fingers crossed I get some orders so you can see a bit of packaging. If you're new to this channel, my name's Meg from the brand new illustration business, Fizz and Flourish. So as I mentioned the collection before, if you've been following these vlogs, you'll know that I'm this close to launching and I'm gonna show you some surprise products that I haven't talked about on Instagram or all these vlogs at all. So let's get into the week. I think this week is gonna take a lot of coffee. Let's go. Okay, so I've been dying to show you this product. I've been researching it for a while and I was waiting for the materials to arrive and I wanted some things in the collection to be a little surprise, but I have made these myself and I'm so happy with them. So I'm gonna show you now. So I've made these to-do lists. So you've got things to do and then I think 15 lines and then a little section for the notes and the same sort of illustration that I've been doing for the Classics Collection. And yeah, it comes on um, like a mount board, so it's quite thick and durable. And then there's 30 pages and it's 100 GSM. So you just rip the pages off when you're finished. So yeah, I've, I've glued this myself. So yeah, I'm, I'm so proud of these. I, they've turned out a lot better than I thought they would. Trimming the edges might seem really simple, but it's actually really difficult. Getting the pages perfectly aligned, it's taken quite a lot of trial and error working out the bleed, but I'm so happy with them. And I think they'll look really good with the notepads. So I'm thinking I might offer like a little bundle. So like a stationary bundle and a sticker bundle and yeah, I hope you guys like them. I'm so pleased. I've got one myself because I wanted to test how they work, like when ripping the pages off, I wanted to make sure they worked properly, and they do. And the quality of the paper is really nice. It's a bit more expensive, but it's so worth it because you don't want really flimsy paper. So now I need to get into the making because I'm launching on Thursday and it's currently, what day is it? Tuesday. That was Monday. Anyway, whatever day it is, I need to get cracking. Okay, let's go. I, you're now on my desk and you can see my bed behind me. Unfortunately, this is the reality. I'm not in a studio, I'm in my bedroom. We're in a one bed flat. And yeah, one day the dream is to have a studio, but I guess like a lot of people, you have to make do with what you've got. 
Anyway, it's just a little bit easier to film from this angle. Hopefully you don't mind my bed in the background. Um, I just packaged a couple of orders. One was for greeting cards and the other was for uh, the Pride and Prejudice sticker pack. And I'd ran out of the thank you cards. So I've just been printing off some more of those and I'm gonna trim them now. So I would actually like to get these sent away and printed at some point, but at the moment I've got all this card stock. It's the 100% recycled card and it wasn't quite right for my greeting cards. So what I'm gonna do is I'll wait for this to run out and then I'll order from, the, from a company. Plus, even though it's reasonable to get these printed, it's still another expense for me and I've already forked out for the card and my printer is the Epson EcoTank. So it's quite economical for me to just print them as and when I need them. So now that that's done, I really want to test out my packaging for my to-do lists and my notebooks just to see how they're gonna look and what I'm actually gonna use to package them. So cue the overhead shot. For this one, I'm gonna use the glassine envelope because I just love the, the feel of these. And I think it will give it that extra, extra touch. Oh yeah, I really like that. And then maybe my logo sticker here. But I think that looks really nice. I really love that it's kind of semi-transparent. I'm hoping I'll have all this figured out um, by the time of the launch. But if you guys have any suggestions for how to up my packaging, then let me know in the comments because I'd love to know your suggestions. I really want my products to feel like a present when you open them. So now it's the to-do list and I'm thinking tissue paper. So in true Blue Peter style, here are two sheets I cut earlier. Oh yeah, I wanted to add my logo to the back of this. I haven't put my handle on this um, notepad. Obviously, sorry, on the notebook, I've written fizz and flourish but for the to-do list I think it would just get in the way and it's not really needed so I'm thinking on the back just to um, put my brand on there I'm just gonna put my logo sticker I really love this um, backing card it's actually it's really thick and it's a cream color which means it kind of goes with the aesthetic of the whole book uh, I might need to cut this down a little bit I'll be right back okay tend to use this as my little paperweight. <laughs> I've also got these washi tapes from Typo. I showed you in my last vlog and I, they're perfect for my brand colors. I don't know if it's overkill to have two different colors, but I'll try it. If any of you sewers out there are shouting at me for using these scissors, they are old sewing scissors. So yes, I'm cutting paper with sewing scissors, but they're my old ones, so I don't care. I spent the past 10 years as a costume maker, so I know if I saw that, I'd be shouting at the screen saying, what are you doing? Any sewers out there will understand. I think that looks nice. I just hope it doesn't get ripped. Maybe I'll add a little a little bit of wool. I happen to have the nicest wool in my brand colour, so I'm gonna use it, I think. Oh, perfect. So let's see what it looks like. I don't know if that tape is too much, like all the different colours. Maybe I'll have Maybe I'll just stick to the green, so it's not quite as, as bright. This is where it all comes undone. <gasps> oh, I did it. Oh, I think that looks really nice. I think. Yeah, I think I like that. I think the two together looks really nice. Yeah, I think I like that. And then all the things together, I've got the shoes and the teacups 
and the Pride and Prejudice sticker pack and also I've got the bookmarks coming and then a little thank you card. I think that'll look really nice. Yay! Okay, so the past few vlogs have been very heavy on the classics collection and I'm really sorry if you're bored of it by now. It's just that this is what I'm doing and I want to document that. But even I'm a little bit sick of product design. So I just want to draw something totally unrelated to this collection, even though I have a million and one things to do. But it's just what I need. So I'm going to draw a character. I'm thinking she might be sassy because if you've seen my Instagram recently, you know that I'm loving the facial expression of a real sassy girl with attitude. I don't know what it is, it's something, the way I've started drawing the eyes, it, it really gives the character some personality and I really love seeing that in, in people's illustrations. So I think I'm gonna post the sketch to my Instagram stories as I go and have people vote on aspects of the design. So suggestions for hairstyle, color, eye colour, that sort of thing, which will be really interesting because if you've seen my drawings in my previous vlogs, you'll see that I don't really have an idea as I'm drawing. I just kind of draw and hope for the best. So maybe this way with other people's input, it might give me some inspiration. So I'm gonna do that and I might even head to the sofa and get snuggled up with my blanket and my iPad. Okay, good night. So I've just started this little drawing. So the first vote that I have asked for is hairstyle. So we've got high ponytail, curly bangs, curly hair, thick curly hair, pigtail or pixie cut curls, wavy, pixie cut, bob with small braid, short bob. Pixie cut has come up a few times or high ponytail. Okay, maybe I'll draw two designs and then people can vote. <laughs> to you from the future. I totally ran out of time and I haven't finished this drawing. I did fill in the colours and I did a vote on uh, Instagram. I don't know if you can see but this these were the colour palettes I went for and I think B has won. That one had the most votes. So I'll finish this drawing once the vlog is edited and then I'm going to be uploading it to my Instagram stories. So I'll maybe show you the finished piece in next week's studio vlog. Right back to the past sort of so my bookmarks have arrived so here we go oh that's strong oh yay 
So I went for square corners again and I'm going to round them myself. So it's the same place I ordered the other bookmarks from. Oh, so yeah, the quality is really nice again. So I've got this one which says, there is nothing like staying home for real comfort. Mrs. Elton, Emma. And then on the back, I actually remembered this time, I've got Classics Collection by Fizz and Flourish and then my handle. Honestly, the quality is so nice. I don't know if you can see, but it's got like, so they're, they're laminated and it's a silk paper, so it's really luxurious feeling. The quality is so nice. And this one says, but indeed I would rather have nothing but tea. Sir Thomas Mansfield Park. And yeah, again, you can see the, the shine. Oh, great. So now I have four bookmarks in my shop. Oh, that's so, so much better. Good morning guys, so today I'm going to dust off my GoPro and film a time lapse of everything I get up to today. So it will be a little bit different and I'm going to attach my GoPro to my light so it will be a proper overhead shot of my workspace. So I hope you enjoy it. So it's quarter to seven and I launch in 15 minutes. I have all of my products saved in my drafts on Etsy and I just need to upload them. I'm really nervous. I really hope it works. Oh, oh, I thought there was a fox outside but it was just a really fluffy dog. Um, Ginny, are you ready? No, she's not bothered. Okay, I shall speak to you soon. Okay, I haven't even started filming yet because it's not even seven o'clock. It's two minutes to seven and I've just had an order. <laughs> what on earth? <gasps> Thank you, Adele. <laughs> okay, she's ordered a to-do list and one of the bookmarks. So exciting. Morning, guys. So I didn't end up filming last night. I was really quite overwhelmed with all the orders and as they were trickling in, I just ended up sitting on the sofa totally speechless because I was not expecting this response. So I just wanted to say a massive, massive thank you for everyone that's ordered. And even if you're not able to order from the shop, even like subscribing and commenting and sharing my work, it honestly, means the world to me and I'm gonna try not to get emotional because yeah I wasn't expecting it. I also have a lot to do today because I did not think I would sell as much as I did which means I need to get making more notebooks and to-do lists. I'm just gonna turn the camera away from the cat that's cleaning herself so what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, I, I just wanted to say a massive thank you because my heart cannot cope. It is absolutely full. So I'm gonna get cracking with the orders and I'll show you some of the packaging. Bye. <laughs>
I think I'm gonna end the studio vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it. I still have a lot of packaging to do, but I really just need to get going because I also need to edit the vlog and try and get it up on time. So as ever, thank you so, so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because Honestly, you are helping me out so much and allowing this business to grow. Okay, bye.